hi welcome now we are going to see how to solve a stop scheduling problem I have a problem here and um, we will go through the problem first then we will also see how we can solve this problem okay so what I have here is the particular company's uh, resource need uh, for a week okay we have from Monday to Sunday and uh, we need uh, this company is working for uh, seven days a week so we need uh, people for every day okay each employee can work for for example this is uh, if you consider this is a warehouse uh, these warehouse people needs to work for uh, seven days a week okay but actually uh, the each employee will work for five days and uh, two days off okay so the company needs the or the in other words the warehouse needs uh, 70 people on monday 70 people on tuesday wednesday 90 people thursday 100 people friday 100 saturday 90 and sunday 80 people okay so the employee can work for five days week so he will each employee will work the warehouse uh, employee can work from monday to uh, friday for example then he will take saturday and sunday off okay so and also we also have uh, the wage uh, for week okay it is 400 dollars per week uh, per employee okay this is the salary given to the employee for 400 dollars per week okay so now what we have is that we need to know how many total number of resources needed and how it can be distributed from uh, monday to sunday because a resource can work only for five days and two days it will take off the five days are sequ sequentially five days continuously five days then two days off okay how can we solve this problem okay because we need to know uh, uh, a, a person who takes two days off will be working on other five days and the other people also coming on that day okay so but overall we need for monday 70 people and uh, this is the list given here okay how can we find out how many total number of people needed to minimize the wages given to them okay so to minimize the wages or minimize the salary given to them for uh, over number of uh, the total number of salary given to them how, how can we minimize that we can minimize that only by minimizing the number of people okay so we d we don't want excess of people same time we cannot have a uh, shortage because each day the requirement is clear there okay and at the same time the peak days are high and the other days are low then we need to have people according to that at the same time we need to minimize uh, the salary okay by minimizing the number of people okay this is um, one of the template i have it for stop scheduling you may have uh, for each uh, each day the salary may be different or it, instead of uh, uh, five days week it could be six days week or four days week or continuously four days and three days off something like that according to your requirement you can change this problem and solve it use it this uh, this template or this problem solving as the first step so if you understand this one you can proceed with a more complicated or more uh, 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 restricted or constrained uh, constrained uh, uh, problems according to your requirement okay what i am going to do is uh, instead of um, we have uh, how to distribute people for uh, from Monday to Sunday what I am having is just uh, uh, changing this problem to another way how we are going to do is then how many people start working from Monday and how many people we need uh, start working from Tuesday and so on okay in this way what we are going to change this problem to the batch okay so Monday batch Tuesday batch 
so how many people needs on monday batch how many people needs on tuesday batch okay so this way i just formulate the problem into a different style okay so i you can see here what i am having here is the batches okay from batch 1 to 7 okay so we need to find out how many people for example the batch uh, one is the uh, Monday batch okay if you want we can make it as uh, this is the Monday batch okay Monday batch is the people start working on Monday to Friday and take uh, off on Saturday and Sunday uh, similarly Tuesday batch is the number of uh, the people working start working from Tuesday and uh, taking uh, start working from tuesday to saturday five days then taking off on sunday and monday okay if that is the case how can we formulate this one into a different uh, table instead of this uh, one dimension table to the double dimension okay so what we have is the for monday batch what we are going to say how many days they are going to work and how many days they are going to take leave for example these two are going to take uh, leave okay the these two are the holidays for them okay they start working on monday to friday saturday and sunday is the holiday so what we are going to do we are going to code it into one and zeros okay if they are present okay they are considered to be working then it is one okay whenever they are absent it is zero that is the off days it's zero and working days are one okay so we are going to code this table like this one and then saturday and sunday is the off days okay then uh, tuesday batch people start working from tuesday okay from tuesday to saturday tuesday to saturday but uh, their off days are sunday and monday correct so this way we need to code the table so if you see this uh, this table you can understand that a monday is consists of monday batch thursday batch friday batch saturday batch and sunday people okay all this five days batch is going to come on monday okay so when you distribute people here for example monday 10 people the other days are 20 20 people then uh, Thursday to Friday for 80 plus this 10 90 people going to come okay but whereas the Tuesday and Wednesday people going to take off on Monday okay so this one will give you the presence of the number of people for example if we give here some numbers for each day what is the batch number how many people comprise of this particular batch for example this is 10 people here in monday you want to know a particular days uh, number of people going to be the multiplication of uh, the the number of uh, people in the batch and the presence of that batch okay so monday you need to include if it is zero then you no need to include in other words you can do a multiplication of these and uh, these numbers then you will get a particular days the number of people going to be okay so 10 into 1 10 again 40 into 1 40 10 so all this will be added in the same time this 20 and 30 won't be added because it is zero when you multiply okay this is the trick here okay so this so one and zeros will give you the presence and absence of that batch people okay
so this is the way we formulated this problem is become this problem okay now what we are going to do we are going to also see for each day what is the number of people needed okay so i put it here this is the constraint actually okay so for monday we need 70 people okay tuesday we need 70 people and so on okay i put it here and uh, you can see these cells we want to calculate okay this is our objective here our objective is to find out uh, for each day for each batch how many people we need to recruit okay so for each batch how many people that means for each day how many people must start working okay and um, this is our objective these cells are called the changing cells here okay so the problem is going to find out uh, you start working on these cells these are all the changing variables okay so this uh, this are all the variables we are going to we start putting a different different numbers in the problem and find out what is the optimum value for this value these numbers so the optimum values for uh, this problem is objective what is the objective function the objective function is to minimize the wages how can we minimize the wages minimizing the wages how can we minimize the wages we must know uh, per head uh, the wages is four hundred dollars so we must know first what is the total number of uh, employees we are going to recruit then uh, multiply that by this 400 and then you will get the per week's uh, wage for uh, this week's wage we are going to minimize okay so it has to be equal to total number of uh, employees into the per head wage how can you find the total number of employees we are going to add this okay sum of this co this column is going to give give us the total number of employees correct into the wage which is here 400 okay this is going to be our uh, objective function this is our total number of wages this is the amount we are going to minimize by changing the variables here in other words we are going to change the cell value here here the variables we are not putting a label to these variables we already have a label here for each cell b7 okay this is b8 this is b9 and so on you can you can think this one is x1 x2 x3 x4 instead of giving them as numbers what we are giving we just keep the cell values cell names okay which is present here okay so this is uh, if you take this one is zero okay so by what our problem is going to do it is going to put a different uh, numbers here to minimize this value same time we will satisfy the every day's constraint this is the constraint the constraints we have for each day how many number of people we need okay this is the constraint for each day okay so at we need at least 70 people we need 70 people but we cannot say exactly 70 because problem may not be solved okay but the problem may not found any solution so we need to give this one as uh, 70 or more than 70 it could be 71 72 okay so we need at least 70 people okay but for each day what is the number of people we need it is there as a constraint okay okay again now what we are no we are going to do is that we need to know the uh, this is the left hand side of the constraint 
okay so we need to know the right hand side also so how to calculate the right hand side okay before we go for i explain how to do the constraints this is the objective function we already finished but uh, the this the changing variables also we finished now the constraint for the constraint uh, how can we formulate the constraints before we formulate the constraint i want to explain to you there is a function called uh, some product function so what is some product function i will just explain to you because we are going to use the some product function we have uh, two set of array for example array 1 and array 2 okay for uh, example this is a value we have one two three this is ten twelve thirteen okay so we want a value of uh, each element multiplication for example this element uh, we will put it here okay for this element first element into the first element of array 2 similarly second element into the second element of array 2 similarly third element of array 1 into third element of array 2 for example okay we have a corresponding element product then we want the sum of all these values okay this is our problem we want we have a two set of numbers okay we want to multiply these numbers and uh, multiply then we want to add it okay if you want this one instead of doing this way multiply multiply one by one and add it what you can do is you can use the sum product function product function and uh, simply pass the array 1 comma array 2 it will give you the same result 73 how it is doing it will take the array 1 and array 2 as the inputs it automatically multiply the first uh, first elements okay first element of array 1 into the first element of uh, array 2 similarly for the second element of array 1 and the second element of array 2 third element of array 1 and third element of array 2 it will keep this products finally it will add array is nothing but a list okay so the first list and the second list corresponding elements it will multiply and give you the sum first it will do the products okay then it will do this sum okay this is called sum product function if you don't know this is the uh, functionality of this function okay why we are doing this one because you see here I am going to find out the number of employees here for example now I put a uh, sample 5 6 a uh, small uh, numbers some numbers here okay this is the numbers for example I have then how many people going to come on Monday how can I calculate okay I'm going to calculate by multiplying I already told you uh, one is a presence and zero is absent so the zero ones are not going to come on that day okay wherever one finds uh, those people going to come so this day uh, 5 into 1 automatically if you multiply these two automatically these two will be absent when you multiply by 0 it won't come you multiply by 1 automatically it will be added okay so we are going to for each day for example I want to know how many people going to come on Monday how can I do I will do 5 into whether the batch is present or absence okay present one plus similarly six into the batch people on Tuesday whether it is presence or absence which is obviously zero that day so automatically it will be a zero okay and similarly Wednesday people Wednesday batch people 
won't coming on monday because they are absent so i just multiply by this number okay similarly thursday people going to come because we are multiplying by one because they are present okay similarly friday people into this number okay plus saturday people into one finally sunday people into monday monday whether uh, whether this number sunday people present or not yes they are present so it is one so if you see it comprise of 24 people how it is coming all this will be added 10 19 plus 5 on monday okay 24 people whereas these two 10 people are uh, because it's absence we are multiplied by zero automatically it is not added to this product uh, okay the here this some product uh, this way instead of doing this way you can use some product function which i already explained to you using a two rs parsing okay so it's easier okay so what i'm going to do instead of this 24 this way i just uh, change this one to some product of i'm going to give the number of employee array into the monday overall present and absence array okay so this is going to the give you the same 24 okay so on monday how many people are present it is going to be this okay similarly we need to calculate uh, this is the left hand side of the constraint we are calculating how many people are going to come based on these changing variables okay S changing cells the five six four two six eight three or all or uh, uh, small numbers i put it for sample okay but uh, the problem is going to the solver is going to find out these numbers later okay this is for uh, for example only i put it this numbers okay similarly we need to calculate for tuesday how many people are going to come uh, some product of uh, number of employees array comma the tuesday presence and absence array okay similarly for wednesday number of employees on that day comma wednesday batch wednesday presence and absence array similarly thursday so i'll finish it off for every day Thursday and uh, some product of Friday you, uh, you may have a question why don't we drag you can drag but what will happen uh, you need to use a dollar sign for this array because this array you no need to change this one is keep changing okay so you must be careful on relative reference so i just type it uh, here some product So this is the Sunday's uh, 
array okay you have uh, this one we calculated for the constraints left left hand side okay this is the values uh, based on the changing values uh, changing variables uh, okay changing cells so if it is uh, i take out uh, everything becomes zero okay this is the way we are calculating for constraints left hand side right hand side we already have uh, this number each number supposed to be uh, uh, greater than or equal to this number okay this is given for each day so the monday what we have is the constant on we have a monday constraint which is uh, the calculated number of uh, employees greater than or equal to rhs which is 70 okay so this value is given this is a right hand side of the constraint this is the left hand side which we are calculating okay this is the constraints on the using these two we are going to put a constraint okay this part is the constraint part okay we now we finished the objective function changing variables and the constraints we have one more constraint that the employees cannot be of employee okay the employee numbers cannot be uh, 10.5 5.5 something like that because we have full count so uh, the numbers should be integers that one is also a constraint here we need to keep in mind because our solution cannot give 2.2 here okay so uh, monday monday batch we need 2.2 people which cannot be accepted here either it is 2 or it has to be 3 okay either two or three okay something like that so the this this uh, uh, values uh, of this uh, cells must be integers okay that is that is another constraint now what we are going to do we are going to solve we said all done and uh, uh, we are going to solve this problem how can we solve it we are going to use the solver okay so where can you find the solver you can find it here in the data here in the data tab there is a option analyze there you can find the solver okay because uh, i haven't uh, uh, haven't added the add in solver into the excel worksheet so it is not showing the uh, the add in okay what we need to do we are going to add the solver add in now go to file options in the options you have uh, add-ins okay in the add-ins excel add-ins go then you can find solver add-in check it press ok once you added the solver add-in you can see go to data you can see here solver and uh, analyze solver okay so this is the part you can bring the solver in then click on solver then you can find uh, solver parameters uh, window popping up okay so now we are going to enter the problem here in this solver okay so what is our uh, objective objective function set objective we already set it here you see this is the cell okay max the uh, the total wages we are going to minimize wages uh, or salary we are going to minimize okay this cell is the objective then what we are going to do with this cell maximize minimize or value which is the minim minimize because our problem is to minimize the wages okay what are all our changing variable cells uh, our changing variable cells are these cells number of employees we are going to find out okay problem also going to find out uh, these cell values while minimizing the overall wage okay then finally i delete this one okay finally we need to put the constraints okay so our first constraint is uh, add uh, I already told you all these uh, cells must be integers. 
it cannot be fractional values because it's a number of employees for that you need to select integer value okay so there is uh, here the operational box there is int integer is there you select that one and add this constraint you added this constraint you can see here it is added already okay now we are going to add uh, monday tuesday constraints monday constraint is this add monday constraint i am going to add this is the calculated number of values uh, employees on monday according to the number of employees is going to come here is supposed to be greater than or equal to right hand side of the constraint which is 70 so the first constraint is the left hand side is uh, the calculated value and uh, uh, right hand side is the the value already we have it in the list okay so uh, it has to be the calculated value the number of employees supposed to be greater than or equal to the given value okay and add this one similarly for the Tuesday constraint uh, which is the calculated number of uh, values uh, employees greater than or equal to the constraint of value which is the uh, Tuesday value we need uh, at least uh, 70 people and so on okay so uh, after adding these two constraints uh, what we can do uh, we need to add for wednesday to other uh, other things also other days constraints also instead uh, what we can do you see instead of adding one by one these constraints this kind of constraints uh, we can add it in bulk okay the solver allows uh, how uh, because this is also a list this is also a list we can add it as a list okay instead of adding one by one so i delete these two constraints uh, okay i'll show you how to add in bulk because we are going to add one by one from monday to sunday constraints we add it we just select the left hand side of all these constraints everything in a list in a proper order so we can select okay and greater than or equal to the right hand side values okay then add as a one constraint cancel you can see automatically from 14 to uh, this this one from uh, c14 to i14 okay it will be matched uh, automatically split into different constraint uh, this is nothing but a seven constraints but we add it as a uh, only one row okay this is easier because we uh, the the excel solver accepts as a range okay it will see automatically it split into seven constraints uh, okay so once we add it uh, our problem is uh, all our uh, variables are non-negative values uh, okay and uh, so we need to check this one if it is not checked before we need to check unconstrained variables or non-negative then uh, we have um, three different types of uh, uh, solving method uh, grg non-linear simplex lp and uh, evolutionary but ours is simplex lp okay this is not evolutionary uh, we assume this problem as a linear problem okay and uh, see here if it is non-linear then we need to go for smooth and non-linear method we need to go for grg non-linear engine method to be selected if it is a lp simplex then select simplex lp evolutionary engine for solver problems that are non-smooth okay so our problem is linear problem that is our assumption here linear we can find a solution on linear linear solution here okay then uh, you also have uh, options you can play around this one if you don't have a problem having a solution or you want to make it as a uh, different uh, timings to search for the solution number of iteration what you want to 
uh, work on all these uh, parameter settings are here for this uh, this problem I just leave it as a default parameter okay if you have any problem you need to go through every parameter setting what you need to set it up okay yeah and a constant precision also you can set it if you the precision is more accurate then it will take more time but the precision is very high the uh, very low for example you are you are okay with the compromising with the precision the problem will be running faster okay so you need to go through every parameter setting here but for time being you can use the default ones okay okay then uh, we set the objective and um, objective to be minimized uh, changing variables are these variables these cell values and uh, the the constraints are uh, the variables are integers and non-negative as well as we put uh, every days uh, batch uh, constraint already okay every day is number of people constraint okay now we are we are ready to solve i just press ok to solve solve you can see solver found a solution and uh, all constraints and optimally uh, conditions are satisfied okay so you want uh, any reports you can click on reports and uh, press ok it will also create you a report of uh, this report so you can go and see what is there in the reports uh, it will say what is the original value what is the value found now and uh, what are the constraints into used and whether the constraints are binded constraints or not binded constraints uh, okay all these things are here in the report and uh, now i just uh, i'm not explaining the report you can go and uh, see the reports so just go to the solution you can see here the problem found uh, a solution okay it exactly it is binding the constraints are binding it uh, tries to put uh, exactly the same values uh, the monday we need 70 people it can able to allocate 70 people uh, tuesday 70 people wednesday 90 people and so on so the constraints are satisfied very fine and the number of employees is distributed here so the uh, by minimizing the wages which is the forty eight thousand dollars okay we need to recruit batch one which is the monday batch 20 people tuesday batch 20 people wednesday batch 30 people thursday batch 20 people friday batch only 10 people saturday batch 10 people and sunday batch 10 people okay so for each day you can see for uh, this all these patches will be present on monday which is 50 plus 20 70 people whereas the tuesday and wednesday batches are absent similarly the same way it is satisfying every day's uh, resource constraint resource needed okay so this way you can solve and find out what uh, number of employees needed for each batch okay so this way the solver solves the problem the stops scheduling problem and gives you solution okay and um, you have the problem to be different wages you need to if it is a different wages you need to change the objective function okay according to your need hope uh, this video is helpful to you to know how to solve uh, stop scheduling problem and uh, if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel the channel button is already there in the screen itself and uh, god bless you